so hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel thank you guys so much for subscribing thank you guys for watching so today we're going to be cutting a wrap top and all you're going to need is your scissors your tape your ruler and your chalk okay guys so the length of our of this top is going to be 18 inches 18 inches including our sewing allowances so we're just going to mark that out now and then we're going to make a straight line on the bottom of the top you know it's just going to serve as the starting points from the bottom of the top so so now we're just going to continue marking the length of the top so this top is going to be an off shoulder top even though we're starting from the shoulder to the waist that's the initial top length measurement so guys we're cutting first the back piece this is the back piece okay and remember i told you guys how to fold is by dividing the widest part of your top which is the bust by four and then adding your allowances and now we have 8.75 after dividing it and then we're going to add our allowances which is one and a half you see you can we also have like few spaces left so just to be on the safer side so now we're going to mark out our off shoulder line which is minus five inches okay minus five inches this will now be our starting point this will now be the beginning of our top okay guys this line will now be our shoulder line so we're going to mark our shoulder measurements on this line and our shoulder measurement is 16 divided by 2 which is 8 inches okay so we're just going to mark that out now and then we're going to mark our chest line as well which is also our armhole and that is 7.5 inches 7.5 inches can be eight whichever you choose actually it can be eight eight and half so we're also going to mark out our bust line now which is 10 inches kind of standard bust line so 10 inches so we're just going to rule that out now like so And then from this line as well, we're going to mark out our waistline. And our waistline is going to be 16 inches, guys. 16 inches, also standard waistline measurement. 16 inches. So now, guys, we have our shoulder line. We have our chest line. We have our bust line. We have our waistline and our top length just like that so we're going to transfer our shoulder measurements onto the chest line this will form it will help us in making our armhole and that's eight inches like that so guys as you can see we do not have a zipper allowance it's been the back because there will be no zip on this top okay guys no zipper allowance on this back piece so we're just going to impute our bust measurement now on the bust line and the bust measurement is 8.75 inches and then adding our one and a half sewing allowance there like so and then our waist measurement which is 7.5 inches and then our one and a half inch as well so we're going to do the same thing on the top length after ruling. So now guys, we're just simply going to draw our arm curve and then we're going to cut. That is all for the back piece. And then we're going to use our back piece to cut our front piece. So in order to make your curve, just raise it up by one inch and then make a curve. Simple. So now we're just going to cut it out 
like this remember we're starting from the off shoulder part and not the initial top length okay so guys we're done now and this is what we have for the back so guys for the front piece we're simply going to add extra allowances just like we're cutting a back piece with a zipper but instead of one inch we're simply going to add about three inches above it depends on how big the bust is if the bust is small you can add three inches if the bust is really big you can add up to five inches even so i'm just going on ahead here to add three and a half inches to the measurement for the wrap top so remember we're cutting the front piece right now and we've already cut the back piece okay guys so we're just simply going to add three and a half inches remember if your bust is way big you can add up to five inches okay guys so we're just going to place it on that line now that we have just marked out just yeah so just gonna adjust it like this and that's all guys we're now going to cut it out now okay so we're just going to cut exactly the same thing as the back piece the difference is the allowance so yeah guys this is what we have for it both the front and the back piece so now we're not done so i'm just going to decrease this shoulder measurements instead of eight inches i'm going to be using six inches because we do not want the beginning of our sleeve all the way on our shoulder line we want it close to our neck okay so which is why i'm decreasing it from eight to six inches okay so now we're just going to remake our armhole as you can see here so remember in order to make your curve just raise it up by one inch and then you make a curve like so So yeah guys, this is it now. So now guys, we're just simply going to mark this point, which is going to serve as our um, whole point. We're going to mark that out and so simply remove the back piece. Okay. We're just going to remove that and then we're simply going to mark out the corner of that point right there and then we're going to connect it together. Okay guys, just do exactly what I am doing like so. So now we're just simply going to cut it out. If you notice, I, I added a little bit of allowance as i cut it i just like added like about half an inch or a quarter of an inch i don't know just like add it and then cut it out right right there like this so yeah guys this is it now this is the front look of our wrap top so this is everything remember it's an off shoulder wrap top okay so this is how it is going to look now so we're just going to cut the linings okay for this because we're going to use it to turn the front piece and the back piece as well so guys this is what we have now for the front piece and back piece of the wrap top so yeah we're going to be adding bands on each side at that point so this is it guys so now for the band which is the rope that we're going to like tie you know so um the length of our band is two and a half inches folded 
two and a half inches folder so that all together it is five and the length is 40 inches you can make it however long or short you want you can see it is folded into one the full length is five inches i think so yeah we're going to use this now this is one this is one so we're going to use the one to cut out the second so yeah this is all for the band now now here we're just gonna head to sew remember i told you guys we're going to cut the lining exactly the same as we cut the fabric and then we sew and top stitch like so make sure you top stitch it and then like you iron it to make it flat and then we did the same thing for the front pieces as well turn and top stitch okay so now this is how it's going to look after we sew and join everything together so yeah this is the band we're simply going to close the beginning and sew all the way around to the other end of the band because we're going to turn it inside out okay remember i told you guys we're going to be joining a band to each of the front pieces so this is how it's going to be as you mean we've turned it now we're simply going to join it like this to the end of a piece to the end of one front piece rather so that's how it's going to be and then we're going to close all the ends of the top the front pieces both front pieces we're simply going to turn it that's turn the bottom of the top okay yeah like this We're just going to do the same thing for the back piece as well flip it and then turn this should, could be done earlier on though and then we're going to shape in the top like so just like taking about half an inch or one inch and then just like close it so now this is the bands already sewn ironed and flipped inside out as you can see right here and yeah, of course, it has a it has two sleeves, um, elastic sleeves, of course. And yeah, as you can see, these are the passage through which we're going to pass our elastic through. Yeah, this is it, and this is the other sleeve. So, guys, this is the finished look. We have we have sewn in everything. We stitched up our um our bands. We attached them on both sides and then we stitch our sleeves as well putting in our elastics on both ends as you can see yeah and guys this is basically all for the video it came out perfectly really perfectly and yeah so this is everything this is our off shoulder wrap top okay guys don't forget to like and subscribe and share yeah so thank you guys so much for watching thank you